Welcome to this short video showing you how to register for access to submit data to the Pennsylvania Department of Environmental Protection's Drinking Water Electronic Lab Reporting Application, or Dweller for short. Public water systems must submit all compliance and monitoring data to DEP through Dweller. This video will walk new users through the process to gain access to Dweller for the purpose of submitting data. This video will go through the three steps to obtain permission to enter data into Dweller and then show you how to log in to Dweller. Let's go over step one, which is to obtain a DEP laboratory identification number. The first step in gaining the ability to enter data in Dweller is to become a registered environmental lab. You will be assigned a DEP registered laboratory identification number or lab ID. Please note, public water systems that only analyze and report entry point or distribution system disinfectant residuals will still require a lab ID. A lab ID is assigned by DEP's Bureau of Laboratories. Let's take a look at how you can obtain a lab ID. On DEP's main website, click the search function. Search for Laboratory Accreditation. Select the first search result displayed. Scroll down to the Forms and Applications section. Select the Environmental Laboratory Registration Application link. You are now in DEP's eLibrary system. You can select the application form in either Microsoft Word format or as a PDF. This form will need to be completed and sent to DEP's Bureau of Laboratories. The mailing address is provided on the form. Please remember to include the $50 registration fee, which needs to be made payable to the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. If you have any questions related to completing this form, please contact DEP's Bureau of Laboratories at the telephone number listed on the form. The turnaround for DEP to process and assign a lab ID is approximately two weeks after the form has been properly filled out and submitted. The Bureau of Laboratories will contact you with your assigned lab ID. Let's go over step two, which is to ensure that you have a Greenport or Keystone account. DEP's Dweller application is hosted by Greenport. We will now walk through creating a Greenport account Please note that if you have a PA Keystone login, you do not need to create a separate Greenport account. PA Keystone login is an account management system allowing you to log into several different PA online services, including Greenport. Also note that Greenport accounts created prior to March 20th, 2021 no longer work and you are required to create a new account. You will have to provide your Greenport or Keystone username on the Dweller registration form. Your Greenport or Keystone username must be the same as your Dweller username, and Dweller has more restrictions on the username. Therefore, if you have an existing Greenport or Keystone account with a username which contains any special symbol or that is 16 characters or longer, a new account must be created. Greenport is a central hub to provide access to several DEP applications, including Dweller. You can find it through the address on screen or simply do a web search for PA DEP Greenport. To create an account, scroll down and click the button that says Register. This will take you to the self-registration process, which starts with entering the email address you will use for the account. The Greenport and Keystone system will accept any email account except for AOL email addresses. After you click the Send Code button, you will be sent a verification code to your email. Open your email to get the verification code and then enter it on the screen and then click Validate Code. You will be able to continue with the registration process here. Click the Next button after you have filled in your account information. In the Greenport registration process, you will be asked to create a username. Your Greenport or Keystone username must be the same as your Dweller username, and Dweller has more restrictions on the username. Therefore, your Greenport or Keystone username cannot contain any symbols or spaces and must be less than 16 characters. 
the Dweller application, which we'll cover next, requires your Greenport username in order to link your facility to your account. Your Greenport username will be the same username for your Dweller account. You need to do this step before DEP can process your Dweller registration form, which we will get to later in this video. A lot of systems think that creating a Greenport account is all that they need to do to register for Dweller, but it is not. All this step does is create a user account for you in Greenport. Your account then needs to be linked to a facility. Your Greenport account can be linked to multiple facilities. Everyone who uses Dweller must have their own account. Do not log in under someone else's account. It is considered fraud to submit reports in someone else's name. After you have obtained your lab ID and Greenport username, you are now ready for step three, which is to complete and submit the Dweller registration form. On DEP's main website, click the search function. Search for Dweller registration. Select the first search result displayed. Select the link for the Dweller and Web AOS registration form. You are now in DEP's eLibrary system. You can select the registration form in either Microsoft Word format or as a PDF. Follow the instructions provided to complete and submit the form to DEP's Bureau of Safe Drinking Water. The form can be submitted via fax, mail, or email with email being DEP's preferred method. Anyone can request access to Dweller. However, if the person requesting access is not the responsible official or certified operator on file with DEP, then the Bureau of Safe Drinking Water will have to contact the responsible official on file to ensure that the person submitting the request is able to submit the form for the water system. The email address that is provided on the Dweller registration form must be the same email address for the Greenport or Keystone account. If you need to change the email address for your Greenport or Keystone account, DEP cannot make that change for you, so you must log into that system and make that change yourself. Remember that your Dweller username must be the same username for your Greenport or Keystone account and it cannot contain any symbols or spaces and must be less than 16 characters. If you have any questions related to completing this form, please contact DEP's Bureau of Safe Drinking Water at the email address or telephone number listed on the form. The turnaround time for DEP to process and grant dweller access is approximately one week after the form has been properly filled out and submitted. The Bureau of Safe Drinking Water will contact you via email when Dweller access has been granted. Finally, let's go through how to log into Dweller. After you have received the notification email from DEP's Bureau of Safe Drinking Water regarding Dweller permission, you can now access Dweller via Greenport. Enter your Greenport username and password. Then click the Login button. Under the reporting section, select Dweller. Thank you for watching this video. You can now proceed to the next video in the Dweller series. Be sure to check DEP's website or YouTube channel for new videos.